Efforts to tackle global food shortages are focusing on the use of compost. A new initiative dubbed the Precision Compost Strategy has revealed the use of humble garden compost on a large scale could not only increase food production, but may also lower the amount of carbon in our atmosphere. Professor Susan Schmidt from the University of Queensland is part of the team analysing the use of compost and looking at implications for large scale agricultural use. Professor Schmidt, thanks for joining us. What are your initial findings? Thank you so much. Well, we're very excited because we found that if you used compost in a more precision way, like the title suggests, rather than cu the current use, which is a bit more haphazard in a way in many instances, and also increase the use, of course, of compost to have uh, something that really is part of mainstream agriculture, then we would have about 4% more food, as in just the major grains, which we calculated. But in some instances, this could be more than 40% more he harvested per hectare than what currently occurs on, you know, challenged soils that are not very uh, nutritious for and easy to grow crops on. So we could have 4% more food globally. What does that translate into? Uh, it's about, we calculated it, it's about um, 96 gigatons, I think it was, on, of, of food, of, of just cereal grains. There's obviously a lot more food that's being grown, but that's about twice as much as what Australia harvests in a good year. So it's a substantial amount. That sounds like a, a huge improvement on, on what's currently happening. That's just from what replacing normally used fertilizer with compost? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what we found is, you know, our comparison was to check what people you know, harvest when they use mineral fertilizer. So what's mostly used in mainstream agriculture. And then we compared that when you would use just straight compost, or if you combined compost with mineral fertilizer as a sort of third alternative. And in that sort of space, we would have that sort of benefit. So often if you use straight compost, you might, if you're lucky, you harvest as much as you do with mineral fertilizer, but on average, and this is across all crops, all climates, we would have about, you know, 5% or, you know, up to 10% less yield. So it's not as desirable from a yield perspective. Whereas with the compost plus mineral fertilizer or other easily available nutrients, as we call them, then you get that sort of benefit. Oh, that sounds hugely beneficial. What has the um, response been like from the industry to your findings? I, I think the compost industry is already on board and they're very keen to up the ante so they can really sell their product, not just as a something that farmers may or may not put into their soil. And currently compost is often used to boost the soil organic matter, so to improve the soil more broadly, make it more you know, fluffy, easily for plants to grow in and hold more water. But compost with those nutrients can really deliver a number of things. And I think the farmers who have already tested it are really keen and, you know, increasingly farmers make their own compost and, you know, they find that it improves their soils and ultimately their crop. Are there any areas, any nations that are more forward thinking than others when it comes to the use of the precision compost? I'm not saying we know we should throw more food out, but this is unavoidable food waste that of stuff that's truly spoiled. Um, so in the UK, I know in Europe, other European countries, there's quite a lot happening, but increasingly also in China.